Okay, so hi folks and welcome back. So what we're going to organise now is we are going to organise what's called a traffic zone. So to do that we're going to press D, we're going to press O, and we're going to press R for restricted traffic. And what we're going to do is just this area here, we're going to tell dwarves they cannot pass here. So if I'd have done this last episode, then these dwarves wouldn't have drowned. But the thing is, these dwarves were morons and shouldn't have been here in the first place. So, I am going to maintain this was their fault. But that does still leave us with a problem. So we're going to bring up our dwarf forest here and see how many we've lost. We have went from 36 dwarves down to 30. So we've lost 6 of our dwarves. None of them were military. We did lose our noble. Uh, it looks like... We do still have our masons. Do we still have a stone crafter? Stone crafting, yes, we still have our stone crafters. Here's what we're gonna do. Because we now have to make a crypt. We have to make a tomb to honor those dwarves, but we don't have their bodies. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to this guy here. We are gonna add in Shift P Q Shift P for profile. Oh, requires manager. Right, we've lost our manager, so we can't give out a profile. So the first thing we need to do is make a new broker and manager. And apparently, Erush is going to be the guy to do that. So we're going to give him all of us. Uh, when we find Erush again. Apparently, Erush was a decent uh, broker, but he's not very good at this other stuff, but that's fine. He will get good at this other stuff. We're going to assign all these rooms. To Erush. A little bit morbid. But they are his rooms now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to the Masons here. We're going to cast Shift P, Work Orders. We're going to press Q to add a new one again. And then we are going to go to slab. We're going to order 10 from each. Which means we should get them pretty quickly. The reason we're doing this, in Dwarf Forest, supernatural things can happen. Supernatural including ghosts of your unburied dwarves coming back with a what the fuck breh expression. I hope that wasn't another... People are still drowning. Why are they still drowning? Unless they were just in there and have drowned recently. I think it's that they're being found dead. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, hold on. Set traffic areas. Restricted traffic. So they are still going through this area. There we are. Now hopefully that means they won't try and go through there anymore. I don't know what to tell you folks. We have done what we can to make this area untrafficable. But dwarves are still insisting on running through it to their deaths. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm not sure what more we could have done here, folks. But this moat is apparently a great defensive structure. I know something we are going to try and do now, which is going to completely defeat the purpose of our moat, is we are going to build a bridge over it. Because if we don't, these morons are going to continue 
to kill themselves on it. So, I mean, that just is what it is. We forbade them from going over it. It. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Instead of trying to go through the designated area, they are actually swimming across the river and drowning themselves. This is a mind-boggling level of stupidity, folks. Let's see how many we've lost now. We're down to 23 dwarves. This might actually be the end of the fortress, folks. And now they're not constructing the floor. You know, I think this is just the end of this fortress. But we're going to continue on and see if we can save it. I don't know why they have uh, elected to go that way. I know how this works. Is that they try and select the shortest route to anywhere. And because we have set this area to be restricted. It means that each tile is counting as 25 tiles as far as... Um, they're concerned, so that's like walking through a few hundred tiles instead of a few. Which should mean that they'll go, oh, that way is actually shorter. But what it's actually done is meant that dwarves have just thrown themselves into the river to die. Now it seems like I'm gonna knock on wood here. We're down to 21 dwarves. But they have stopped throwing themselves in the river. Now I was prepared to lose a dwarf or two doing that. I didn't think we would lose that many. We've also lost all our miners. Which means we've lost all our picks. Uh, so we're going to go down and actually see here. I don't know if it'll be listed in weapons, or tools, or... We have 16 weapons, apparently. But we can't get to those. Those picks are below the surface. I, uh... Yeah, that sucks. That, that genuinely just kind of sucks. Now, what is everyone who's left doing? Fishing, constructing things, constru constructing slabs, that's right. Now, did we lose our Crafts Dwarf in the bridge debacle 22? How did we go up to 22? No, we, we kept our Stone Crafter, that's fine. So, the other thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to our Stone Crafter here. Add a task, we are going to engrave a memorial slab, and we have all of these guys... To bury. So, we need to dig out a tomb. Oh, there we are, there's another one dead. <laughs> now, we need to pick a level for this, and I think the level below the. level below the nobles' quarters will do. And then we're gonna have to. we have four picks, or at least we had four picks. So what we're going to have to do is give one of the peasants that we have left the final pick and let them dig this out. So, let's take a look here. Who doesn't have much of a job? Actually, let's go to Migration Wave. I would like to see how many of our original dwarves we lost. Three of our originals. Ugh. Ugh. That's painful. So, go back to our profession. Who do we have who's not? Okay, fishery worker, you are now the miner. 
We're going to get rid of fishing off that guy. He should go grab the one pick that's left in the stockpile, whichever one that is, and then hopefully get to work. We still have someone smelting all of the Galena ore, but I think we lost our blacksmith during that. Yes, we did. Our blacksmith drowned. So, essentially, when we get another migrant wave... Ah, there we are. The bridge is done now. So, I guess we can... Uh, set this back to a normal traffic zone. And people will use the bridge rather than uh, walking to their death. And we'll just fill that bridge with traps, I guess. Something else I can show you how that works later. The outpost liaison has arrived, and a caravan from the homeland has arrived. Uh, guys, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Things are not so good here. Can, can we get some more migrants, please? Uh, crafts. Looks like we actually have a bit to trade. So that's good. I don't know if people are going to get around to bringing the stuff up to trade. Oh. Oh. Merit deserves a reward and I've come- oh. So right after we drown a bunch of our dwarves, uh, someone has come to make us an official land of our realm. I can scarcely believe the good news. I have some recommendations. Where's our, our one nobleman? In fact, no, English is one of the first. English, we're going to recommend to be our big, bad overlord here. What a request of your merchants. Uh, slave labor, please. We'll go for wolf leather. Uh, look over the documents. It's fine. Finish picking in on the conversation. Now, you can see these guys have... Okay, stop talking to me now. These guys have actually not brought their wagons. They've just brought donkeys because we don't have a three tile wide thing for them to cross. So we're actually gonna have to rebuild this bridge a little higher. Again, we'll just make this out of whatever we happen to have around. Just schist will do. And I guess we're gonna cancel the construction of this one over here now. Did not expect that to go so badly, but it's happened now. Looks like our dwarves have all achieved some basic level of proficiency as well. So that's pretty good. Apparently some peasants are saying they've got no job. Which, oh, darn. Which must mean that they have... Uh... And again, we're going to not trade our good things. This one doesn't have anything good in it, but it's we've got quite a bit of uh, monetary value. Ooh. Why is that worth this much? This is worth a lot of money, which makes me believe our artifact is in here. So we're going to keep scrolling down. Yeah, there it is. That's our crown. So at least that didn't get... Um... Yeah, at least that didn't get swept away with the dwarves. There we are. So we have a total value to spend of 1300. We are going to buy all of these iron bars. Because we're going to try and make some, at least an armored shirt for our Captain Durf. Or maybe try and buy some. Well, these guys didn't bring much at all. We're going to take their cloth bin. Their leather bin. Now, you see down here, we need to get rid of we need to get rid of a lot of weight. We're trading these guys, like, rocks that we've turned to look other things. So, um... Yeah, we need to get rid of a lot of weight off of their animals. Before they can drive away... Oh, we're getting the leather because it is cheap. 
and some oh a steel anvil how much is that it's not super expensive but it is heavy and now we're just gonna work our way down this list buying all of their food again plum helmets will be nice we'll get their thread the yarn bronze greaves sure we'll take those we do still need to get rid of some more weight so we'll get these backpacks and quivers Oh, that's expensive. We will buy all of your cheese. We need to get rid of 80 more weight. What else can we buy from these guys? Let's go look at um, their weapons and armor. I see shields. They don't really have any real armor. Okay, so what we're going to do, we will take this iron pick we'll take this bronze shield uh, what else could we take maybe this steel pick no that's not not super not super heavy we need something heavy oh bronze left gauntlet and a bronze right gauntlet we'll take those because those are relatively cheap it's more stuff for our uh, commander to wear how much is this chest weigh? That weighs an okay amount. Uh, they brought beer and ale barrels. Let's see how much these weigh. Ah, there we are. So, they're making an absolute ton of profit off of us. It didn't say they were ecstatic, but I bet they were pretty happy with that trade. And <clears throat> eventually, those skeletons will degrade. So hopefully we'll get some migrants pretty soon here. Did we lose our beekeeper? We did. We oh, Well, this guy knows beekeeping. Or is he in the military now? He's in the military now. Like, half of our fort is military now. So I think... Who's up on the top here? An animal dissector? You know what? You, you can also keep our bees... There we are. So the fortress is in a bit of a recovery status now. But I did need to show you how to build a tomb anyway. So let's see. Has our one miner? No. Who is our one miner? Has the one miner died again? Well, we have two peasants here, who apparently don't do anything? That's unusual. I don't know why all of their labours have been turned off, whoever these two random people are. Oh, these are kids. Some of the kids have grown up. Well, kids, congratulations. You're miners now. Don't tell me you have no job. You get one of those picks and you get to work. Aside from catching chickens that get out. I don't know why they haven't uh, picked up their picks yet. It might be that we end up um, putting these slabs just anywhere for now. But we do need to start engraving them. So, I'm going to go to our craft dwarf here. Engrave memorial slab. And we are just going to work our way down this list. A couple at a time. I imagine by now we have a, at least a couple of slabs. So there are a couple of plus sides to having lost those dwarves. Not a huge amount, but there are one or two plus sides. Um, we no longer have a shortage of bedrooms.
there is a lot of hauling going on right now because of all the goods we just bought. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to squad. Oh. Have we just got migrants? The, the game brought me over to the side for a moment. I can only assume it's because we got migrants. We did. Awesome. So let's just... We're just not going to mention to these guys that... Uh, We're just not going to mention to these guys that something really, really bad just happened. It is a bunch more children, which is the worst, as we have already agreed. I'm going to take everything off these guys and reorganize them. Because it turns out the miners that we selected from the other thing, they're, they're not doing the jobs. So we're going to give mining to these two. What are you? You're a decent woodcutter. Well, we have some of those. Don't need this stuff here. At least I don't think we do. We're going to have a look in a moment and see what we need again. We need a new blacksmith, and we need new furnace operators, I think. A lot, a lot of useless skills coming over with these guys. Okay. So, we can... Why has it brought me over here again? Did I just get like two migrant waves at once? Or... Oh. No? What the heck is going on? Unless someone's claiming a workshop and being in a mood. As you can see, we just have so many... Yeah, I think someone's just claimed the Crafts Dwarfs workshop, which we actually needed right now, but hey-ho. Be another artifact for us. Now, if that's just going to keep spamming us that someone has lost or... Okay, so he's begun his mysterious construction. Looks like somebody has stopped freaking out about um, Hive products. So our beekeeper, I'm guessing. Nope. Well, Erosh, congratulations. You are no longer the beekeeper. Because I do not want to be spammed with that message. So, uh, there you are. Udib, you're now the beekeeper. Let's see if that makes any change. No, no it doesn't. So for now we're just going to turn beekeeping off. It is kind of, uh, kind of janky. I'm not sure what it is that's been destroyed or lost. All of the hives are up here. I can only imagine that somebody down here had something that they needed. Bunch of partial skeletons and what have you. Uh... Well, I can only imagine somebody had something that they needed when they drowned. That moat really didn't turn out well. It was the first moat I've ever tried to make. Well, that's not entirely true. I've made them before, but there are different levels of um, rivers. What we have here is a stream, which is actually deep enough to drown in. I've normally used... Um, normally I get brooks, which you can just walk through. Your dwarves don't mind just walking through. It's like ankle deep, so it takes a long time to fill things. But it's also a lot less dangerous seems like I uh, underestimated just how dangerous a stream was. A pecan wood ring. Well, good for you, buddy. You're welcome to it. But for now, we need to get back to engraving these slabs. To the, like, 20-something dwarves that we drowned. What on earth is that? Oh, that's a stit. It's one of the slabs waiting to be engraved. Now, once they're engraved, we will be able to, um, hopefully, put them in this area down here. So, we do have our new miner down there. I feel like that should be an air quotes, because this guy is not a miner at all. He is real bad. Just really, really bad in general. Now, normally I would um, wait until this was all smoothed out before 
adding any kind of um, memorials, gravestones, coffins, anything of that nature. But we have a lot of guys to bury. And I'm fairly sure at least some of them will uh, resurrect as ghosts if we don't get it done in a timely fashion. Now, losing dwarves is entirely part of the process, but I did not think we would lose that many. And definitely not to um, something as so silly as them just refusing to acknowledge the danger of an area. Maybe I should have had those bridges on standby before I'd uh, done that, but it is what it is, it's done now. So let's see, build, slab, no, support, no, where are slabs? Does it count as a burial receptacle, maybe? Nope. Oh, there we are, it's Alt S. So none of those are engraved yet, it doesn't look like. What's our stone crafter doing? Stone crafter is also our wood crafter. Oh yeah, that's true. So it's Besma. We're looking for Besma. What's Besma doing? Besma. I don't even see Besma in this list, actually. Oh, no, there they are. No job. You most definitely have a job. Let's just follow this guy around a while. I don't know what why it's saying no job. He should be engraving these stone slabs. Unless he needs to be an engraver for that. Might be a different job. I've never actually lost the bodies of dwarves before in an accident like that. I've always... Uh, yeah, there we are. It just needs engraving. I've always kept the bodies before. Or at least parts of them enough to bury. I've buried partial bodies and like ripped off limbs before. But it's the first time I've drowned so many dwarves. But that's been addressed now. It has been at least partially addressed. That guy is officially a miner, which is cool. We have at least one. We can continue making progress. We are going to... Uh, just make a super simple uh, catacomb here, I guess. For the fallen. I mean, I might put more effort in if there weren't morons who got themselves drowned, but hey-ho. Looks like he's making his way through there at a half-decent speed as well. What are you up to right now? No job. Now he is engraving. Cool, he's engraving the memorials. He just has to walk in and grab them all. I would like to wonder how this has just affected the dwarves in the fort. Let's have a look and see if anyone actually cares. So, oh wow, you have a lot of relationships. Oh, his cousin's in the military. Oh, this guy's cousin's with, like, everyone in the fort. Jeez. Uh, I finished up some work. I am very satisfied. And then, oh, that's a lot of horrified in there. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think people are too happy about the whole bodies in the river thing. But, they'll get over it. Dwarves are hardy creatures. Now, I'm going to see if we re-enable beekeeping now. If people are still going to be super, super upset about it. So, Rovard.
can you no instantly things are lost or destroyed hmm I don't know what it is that's lost or destroyed I'm gonna try and let this tick over for a few minutes and see if they will just um stop I guess being uh, lost or destroyed see if they can actually work through enough of it that they're gonna stop spamming with that message We can go down to here now, so we're going to build, we're going to Alt S. Huh. So, we've got engraved slabs. But it's not telling me which slabs are the engraved ones when I try and build them. We'll get it. we'll figure it out. Add new task. Engrave memorial slab. So it's just telling me that it's not done. Hmm. I'll wait for all the engraving to be done and then put down all of the slabs. There's a good chance then that uh, then I can just remove the ones that aren't engraved. Item lost or destroyed. They might be looking for like the one jug that we have that's not um Oh, Rakos used a new shield. Let's try that. Let's try making some more rock jugs. So we'll go into the, the workshop profile to do this. Rock jugs. Let's try making 50 of those. Maybe if they have new jugs to use, they'll stop complaining about the ones at the bottom of the river. So we have 11 idlers again, so I think it's time that we looked at what we've lost and what we need to replace. So let's check for wood burners. We lost both of our wood burners, so you and you. Congratulations, Toth, Tossig and Thaldig in our wood burners. Uh, Udib from the bottom there. Congratulations, you are now the blacksmith. And. Techhood is now the furnace operator. There we are. There's our metal industry recovered. We didn't lose much progress on that, thankfully. Uh, let's see, what else are we missing? Do we have our butcher anymore? We do not. So, congratulations to Robod. You now do that. Looks like beekeeping's just off the table for now, though, because they're continually complaining about uh, all that other stuff. What else are we missing? We don't have a hunter anymore, I don't believe. We also don't have a brewer and cook. So there we are, brewer. Wait, that's not military, is it? Nope, a brewer and a cook. We have them fixed again. That guy's fishing, butchering. I have one spare. I think we're just gonna leave for now. So we have someone else in preparing easy meals. Farmer's Workshop, we do need to get on that in a moment. Looks like we have plenty of food and drink and other things. So we have, for the most part, recovered from that. Let's take a look. Do we have any woodcutters? We have one who is also our carpenter, but I don't necessarily like that. So... I think we'll assign that there, woodcutter and boyery to that person. Now then. So someone is still smelting the Galena ore. So we did keep our furnace operator, actually. So we don't need one there, because we have one. Which means this person is free to do something else. And I think we're going to give them the shearing, spinning... We're going to give them basically a bunch of uh, animal caretaking jobs and also farming. We're going to go for small animal dissection, gelding. I don't want trapping because trapping will actually go out and bring animals back for us. And we don't want that. We want animal caretaker. Then we're going to want uh, milking and cheese making as well. 
There we are. So that person is now going to handle all of our um, all of our animal needs. So we are going to set up some perpetual orders here. We're going to milk animal on forever. We're going to make cheese forever. Shear animals. And of course, spin thread. So now we shouldn't have to make our own. Now we were going to make a hospital this uh, this episode, but things have gone just a little bit sideways, as they are tend to do. Now it keeps saying no slabs engraved. No. Ah, slab engraved, slab engraved, slab engraved. Okay, no slab for that person. There's another five or six slabs. Now let's see if we go down to this area. Build Alt S slab. Is it now going to tell us that a slab is engraved? It's not. Hmm. I'm not sure what the deal is there. I'm not sure how you're supposed to tell which slabs are engraved and which aren't. But we'll just wait for all of them to be engraved. This is half decent practice for our miner, if nothing else. And we haven't seen anyone throw any tantrums, which is nice. Now, by now, we've had more jugs be made. So, I think we're going to try one more time for beekeeping. Nope. Cancels, collect, item lost or destroyed. I'm not sure what item is lost or destroyed. But I can only imagine that it was lost or destroyed in the, um... The Great Flood. Other than the, the flood, things aren't going too badly. I think we are going to order the construction of oh, a couple of wooden crossbows, just in case we get any uh, hunters that we decide to assign. The military's now sparring, so our military's doing really well, actually. Considering everything else that's gone on, at least. So we've got more slabs being engraved. I think with those people we have free, we're actually going to come down here. We're going to build all this. We're going to place all of our slabs, except um, a couple. I want to see if it's only going to give us engraved slabs or what the, uh, the deal is here. So we're just going to fill up this area. And then we will um, remove any that aren't engraved. So if we press Q, we can hover over this. Make Memorial Hall. Yeah, these, these are all slabs to people who were actually been killed by their own stupidity mostly or my stupidity I guess my unfamiliarity with the game now they see someone is being put to rest if we go to other okay good that means that there was a ghost here oh wow I think these are all memorials all I think all of these slabs that we can place are actually um, memorial slabs, not just uncarved ones. How are you doing? It's going to take them a while to make the rest of the slabs, I think. I think we only have. Oh no, we do have both masons. I think we can uh, get rid of the doors though. Actually, no, we'll, we'll keep hold of those for now. At least this means we don't have to uh, we 
Well, there's a few things we don't have to do now. Let's see, are these engraved? No, these are sculptured, so we can remove, remove, remove. So the slabs it suggests first are engraved. The hell is that? that a ghost? Yeah, it's the ghost of one of our miners. A restless haunt, generally troubling past acquaintances and relatives. The spirit has not been properly memorialized or buried. Well, we're getting around to it. We're doing what we can. But I, yeah, I think we need more slabs. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to order another 25 slabs out of that guy. And now, with our stray peasants that we still have, we are going to uh, build Big C floor. We're going to build a floor across here. Didn't expect to have to uh, put this off as long as we have. In fact, we want this one back. Now again, this one isn't intended to be a crossing point. And then we are going to try and start the construction of our walls. We'll start them here. It's going to take us a long time to build this. And these are going to be our, our proper block walls. These ones aren't going to be built out of um, rough stone that's climbable. In fact, well, we'll wait for that to be done, then we'll expand it some more. Dwarves can get um, confused when it comes to building corners. So we'll wait for them to be done up there. And then we'll continue our uh, our fort. Now the reason we're using smooth blocks is again the climbing mechanic. I know goblins can climb. It looks like that way hyena couldn't from a couple of episodes ago, thankfully. But you should be able to uh, see just a little bit of a difference in the wall types. Maybe not. Oh, we're back to winter. I really wish we could figure out what's going on with our... Uh, beekeeping. Just going to take a while to save here. Doesn't only take this long, but I guess it does that. Oh, there we are. It's a nice little, uh, nice change, the changing colour palettes there. I think what we're also going to do, just because the dwarves have proved they do not fear this river enough, we're going to just out of good old... Let's have a look down, what do we... Just out of good old schist on its own. We're going to build a floor there. Yeah. So we're going to go shift blocks there. And then... Now then, we're going to build another drawbridge at some point out the front here. I think we've we've kind of given up on the mode idea, but we're going to leave a gap at the front there, which is going to be where our uh, drawbridge is eventually rebuilt. But until then, we might as well keep on building the rest of our wall. I do think we still have some diorite blocks as well that we can be using. So this is going to take a while. But this was the original plan. Just slightly modified to make the wall more difficult to climb. 
by uh, hiding it behind a bunch of water. There we are. So that's going to take them a long time to do. Or at least a considerable amount of time to do with the amount of dwarves we have. And then that means this tower here, when we feel like it, we can build this up a level or two and have a ranged squad in it. They can have a view over the walls. see what uh, I'm hoping that any food items that got stuck down there uh, people are being frightened I'm hoping yeah the, the food items that got stuck down there we can eventually oh he's a ghost engrave him a memorial not memorialized not memorialized oh why So apparently this is just going to take a while. Build Alt S. See how many more slabs do we have ready. Not many. Try placing another three down. See if they become... Uh, nothing to catch in the central swamp, see? That one is a tomb, these two aren't, so we can remove these two, wait for a bunch more to be engraved, and then we'll plant some down. This is actually not taking them long to do at all. Thought this would take longer than it has. But I guess dwarves building stone walls isn't ever really going to take a long time, is it? Now some of it is going to be different coloured, so if that's going to hurt your aesthetic... Um, tough, I guess. Where's he going with a big rock? Oh, he's going to build the rest of that bridge over there. Okay. Now, I'm not sure exactly how we got that one attached, but it is attached. But uh, I would have liked to at some point added channels here as well. We will do that at one point once we have nice safe bridges across the entire thing. But that kind of defeats the purpose of the channels. So I'd, we might just leave the uh, the other side as it is. It's going to, at the very least, it's going to funnel our enemies a certain direction. There are other ways we could have done this as well. You can actually um, use buckets to fill moats and um, pumps, but I haven't played around too much with those systems yet. Although I imagine filling that moat with buckets would have just taken a long time. While all this is going on, uh, engraving memorials down here. So once he's uh, done with those, three more of those, we'll um, try putting those down. I'm not sure how many left we have to memorialize. We did lose quite a few dwarves. Grown attached to a... <laughs> oh, wow. So that mechanic for military dwarves, when they grow attached to things, means that whenever given the option, they will equip that specific item, even if it's absolutely awful. They could have the worst weapon possible in the game. Let's say a bone... Yeah, a bone spear. Let's say they have a bone spear, which has... If we look at some of our weapons, actually, let's go to Z. Go to stocks. Go to weapons. These are the weapons we have. Let's look at our... Uh... You know what, sure, let's look at our silver spear. Oh, we can't. Okay, we'll have to go to our soldiers. If we hover over this soldier, 
go to I for his inventory. Let's look at his silver spear. So you'll see this thing has 60% the sharpness of iron. And you can see also displayed it will combat contact area of 20 along a stab edged. And there should be a weight, weight of 4. So it's not super heavy, I don't think. But if we look at, um, where's the copper spear? I think Rith had the copper spear, didn't he? There we are, Rith. Let's look at Rith's copper spear here. That has a sharpness of 50%. It is even worse than silver. Contact area is still 20. Its weight is 3. So it's a bit lighter, but it's also not as sharp. And all sharpness is gauged off of the sharpness of iron. Which is one of the sharper metals in the game. It's your pretty standard baseline for is this good or not. And in our case, I can think I say most of our weapons are not. I believe weapon quality also affects the sharpness. So if you have a decent material, but you have an absolutely terrible smith make the, uh, the item, He's not going to get it as sharp as someone who really knows what they're doing. Okay, let's try placing down all of our slabs again. See how many of these are actually engraved. I know we engraved quite a few. I'm not surprised people are grieving. We, uh, I think a lot of this this fortress seems to be related to each other. So a lot of people have just seen their cousins and parents and grandparents, you know, at the bottom of a, a lake, essentially. Let's see, all of these are memorials. And all but one of these are. So we'll remove that one. Let's see, if we go to engrave memorial, not memorialized. So we only need to make another three. Now we know we have at least one or two more slabs to use. So we should be a-okay in that regard. There's one going to be brought up from downstairs. There's at least one more in the stockpile. And then uh, this guy's going to make some more. I think that guy got done, but uh, he's also making a bunch of blocks for us to use upstairs. I wonder if he's made enough for us to continue our construction yet. Build, big C, wall. Yeah, he's made enough for us to do at least a little bit. We want to continually get on this until we have at least one tile high. And then every so often we will just uh, <clears throat> heighten this wall. You can do these up multiple Z levels. I will show you how to do that. Not right now because uh, we don't really have enough slate. So we'll wait, we'll wait for all that to be done, that entire back section. And then, uh, then we've just got to link it across the top, build our bridge. And then I can show you how to link it all up to levers so that uh, we will be a little bit safer. Let's check our uh, honey again, see if it's fixed itself. Wait, aren't you there? Hang on. Okay, I'm not seeing uh, lost and broken, but it might just be that that guy is currently hauling up um, some blocks to use in the wall. Awesome. Cool, so let's go to Z. We'll go to our stocks. Uh, our blocks, we have over 100 diorite blocks actually and over 100 schist blocks. Well, exactly 100 of them. So, that means we can easily finish up our wall this episode. 
Uh, I think that thing might have been lying to us. <laughs> I think it's been a while since he's uh, updated those stocks. And yep, it looks like the uh, honey has fixed itself. So whatever it was that he was looking for is probably uh, rotted away now. Pretty cool, that means we can start doing something else, which I quite enjoy, which is making mead. I think I showed you the process for this once already, but we are going to have to find somebody with no job. So, this guy's building a wall, but what else do you do? Uh, he does butchering and tanning and things. Well, those are also fairly um, uncommon jobs, so we'll give him pressing. And then, why can't we do that? Liquid container. Okay, so he needs... I think that's, um... Construct... No, that's in here. He's almost done. Awesome. And then... Rock. You know, we'll put rock pots on repeat as well, because we can store food in there. And then I think we're gonna pop down a few levels. We're gonna build... Alt-S. There's only one in the stockpiles right now, oddly enough. Build Alt S. Let's go see. I think that was the last one. Yeah, all of these guys have now been memorialized. Oh, not him. Zolban. Well, no, that said he had one engraved, but it wasn't built yet, so that's probably the one on the way down. Whew, so, that is a recovery, I guess, after a disaster. That wasn't planned. And it has ruined our bee industry somehow. Because I'm not going to allow my uh, thing to just be flooded with beekeeping alerts. Maybe we don't have enough pots and uh, things of that nature. Our military is on pretty, pretty high alert. Ready and raring to go. Let's actually take a look at these guys. See what skills we're looking at now. So we have competent mace dwarf and adequate... Speed Dwarf. So they've swip we switch switched weapons at some point. Probably because they were higher up on the list. And they weren't super good at what they were doing. So yeah, these guys are swapping weapons backwards and forwards. Wow, that guy, uh, that guy swapped a lot. I'm guessing the higher up the list they were, the more they swapped. Because they saw higher skilled, uh, higher quality weapons coming out than the ones they had. But we are A-OK -okay with that. Just means they can help pass on those skills a little bit better to other generations of uh, soldiers. Assuming we live that long, the wall is coming along. Uh, and we now need to go turn off the repeat orders down here in the workshop for farming. We'll just cancel, cancel, cancel. Profile. It's just. Oh. Remove those. Seems like he's uh, not doing too well on that because it's sheared all of the animals that could be sheared. And we lost 20 dwarves all in all to that. I think maybe more actually. Each one of those is a memorial. There are six per thing. Yeah, we lost 24 dwarves total. So that was around half our population to, uh, to a river. But we made it through, we're on the other side, and now we just kind of uh, need to figure out what our next move is. We have a lot of no job people, so we basically get to figure out what we want to do with them. And I think next episode we might gather in some plants, maybe chop down some trees, 
and we might try and find ourselves a cavern once we've uh, secured the walls. So thanks for joining me folks, and I'll see you then. Bye -bye.